Hi, I'm Jared Nelson from the Investing Channel, and welcome to The Juice. Supply chain issues continue to plague our ports, but the Fed says things might be getting better. And in an effort to measure the impact of supply chain disruptions, the Federal Reserve created a new Supply Chain Pressure Index. This metric takes into account two major components. The first are cross-border transport costs, such as the Baltic Dry Index, which captures ocean freight raw material shipment costs, the Harpex, which tracks container shipping rates, and international air and trucking rates from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. The second is the Country Level Purchasing Managers Index, surveys that account for delivery delays to manufacturers and the size of backlogs in key economies. The Fed then attempts to control supply-side hiccups on the PMI data by removing new orders, which are seen as a gauge for demand. Although current problems are worse than recent history by a wide margin, they appear to be topping out, which may surprise you. Basic math says that we're about to lap many of the increases, which means we judge inflation against a higher baseline. That doesn't mean we can't hit 3% or more, but this makes 5% unlikely. Plus, we've started to see some food costs come down. And the removal of steel and aluminum tariffs on Eastern Europe that kicked in January 1st should help. However, the infamous Port of LA backlog has yet to be clear. Current stats put the vessel count at 126. Additionally, many companies planned to implement price increases at the start of the year on everything from mustard to motor cars. The bottom line is this. While inflation isn't likely to continue to accelerate, it remains a real problem. Price increases will still take the better part of the year before they make their way to consumers. However, we expect consumer goods companies like Kraft Heinz, Clorox, and the like to benefit from those same price increases as well as market rotation into safer stocks. That's all we have time for today on The Juice. Click follow and subscribe to The Juice email for your daily dose of market minerals.